Well, welcome back everybody. Day two for the Walgreens deals. And first off, I wanted to do this one deal with the liners. Um, with these liners right here, I already have my two. And I just wanna say the PNG thing right here, that is online. I did not even read the small print. I'm just all happy, go lucky, saying, all right, all right, triple dip, psych. No, that's an online thing only. Thank you for those who commented in the comment section of my first video. We have our Walgreens liners. They're supposed to be buy one, get one 25% off, which I did the math. That should be 261 and getting back a $5 store reward. I'm gonna do that and see what that reward looks like. Okay, so I picked up my two and here it is, 261 is my subtotal. I used the $2 registry reward from last week's deals. No tax on the feminine care items and you get a $5 store coupon and this is what it looks like. It says on your next feminine care purchase of $5 or more. I'm gonna do my spend deal and I'm gonna see if it'll work on that. Because remember, you can use this on your spend deal if, I'm trying to remember, like your, let's say you have a threshold of 25 and your booster is 20, and you can use $5 of Walgreens money as long as you still spend the $20 to get whatever reward you're gonna get. So I'm gonna grab four of the Charmins. I already grabbed them. They are on sale by four, get a $5 registry reward, and I heard they're double dipping. Thanks to Michelle, it's my own identity. So we should get back $10 in registry rewards. There's only a $1 digital for this. The double dip is also working on the Charmin Essentials. Toilet paper, that's it. Just those two toilet papers, nothing else. Not working on the paper towels, not working on the Charmin Essential paper towels, not working on the Bounty paper towels. Just the Charmin Essential toilet paper and the blue pack of Charmin. I have four packs, $21.96 at $5.49. Subtracting that $1 digital, paying $20.46 out of pocket, but getting back $10 in registry rewards, five for buying four and five for who knows what, but just an extra double um, double dip, like a glitch happening, so take it while we can. So all together, $10 in registry rewards, final rewards back for this purchase. I'm gonna pick up one of the Gain laundry detergents. I went over the Gain deal in the previous video, the $9.99 items, getting, buying two, getting a $5 register reward. The downy beads were usually part of that deal, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the downy light beads, except they're on clearance for $9.49. That'll bring my total, I believe, to $19.48. At $19.48, subtracting the $3 digitals, that is, $13.48 out of pocket, getting back that $5 registry reward. The down Here is my haul today. The total is $41.44. And because I will be using this store coupon right here, you must use contactless pay. Contactless pay is the only way I can use that spin booster and Walgreens um, coupon, which is Walgreens store money, and get my cash rewards back plus use cash rewards to pay. Contactless pay is through the wallet. If you need to learn how to do contactless pay, the video is in my description box below. It is not my video, it is Michelle's and her channel is It's My Own Identity. But that's where I learned. And once again, doing my deal this way this is the only way to use the store coupon plus use the store coupon spend 20 get five dollars on walgreens cash because if you do it a regular way you can only use one of the store coupons but with contactless pay i can use the store coupon plus my store reward for cash rewards back once again the total is 41.44 i'll be using that digital booster Spend 25, get $7 in Walgreens cash, paired with the paper booster. Spend 20 in Walgreens cash. Right off the 4144, go ahead and subtract that $5 store coupon. That puts me at 3644. I'm still over the 20 and the 25 mark, so I will get both of those cash reward I digital booster and paper booster back. I have seven dollars in digital coupon three 
for the gain detergent, three for the downy beads, and one dollar digital for the toilet paper. I have exactly $18 in registry rewards that I'll be using, and that does not include that five dollar store coupon. So after that store coupon, that brings me to $36.44. I wrote the math out so it's easier for you to see. I have $10 in cash rewards that I'll be using, subtracting the $7 in digital coupons plus the $18 in registry rewards. That'll leave my final total $1.44 that I'll pay with tax. We'll get back $12 in cash rewards, seven for the digital, five for the paper booster. We'll get back $10 in registry rewards for the Sherman, five for a glitch, five for buying four items at $5.49, and then we'll get a $5 registry reward for the gain and the downy. Here's everything I picked up for the deal. Let's check out those receipts. Okay, that's everything I picked up, nice and short. When I got ready to check out, I let the cashier scan my barcode. Then I handed, when you let the cashier scan your barcode first, you don't have to put your number into the pen pad. Then I gave her the point booster, spend 20, get the $5 in Walgreens cash. Then I gave the store reward, $5 store reward. That's how it comes off. That's the one we got for the Walgreens liners. And then there is my two registry rewards. I gave her exactly in that order, the two registry rewards. And then those are all my digital coupons that came off, $7 in digital coupons. That left my total $12.94. And I said $1.44. That is because that downy, even though it was a clearance tag there, it was in the wrong spot. So it was an extra dollar and some change, $1.49. I believe dollar and forty cent and some change, so that made my total total a dollar and some change higher than what it was, which isn't bad. After tax sixteen sixteen, I used ten dollars in cash reward, paid six sixteen out of pocket, got back twelve dollars in cash reward, seven for the paper boost, sorry seven for the digital booster, five for the paper booster, thirty nine cents in everyday coins. $5 for the um, Charmin, another $5 for the Charmin, and then $5 for the um, Downey and Gain deal. And that's everything for my deal today. I wanted to mention that Charmin, um, not Charmin, but the registry reward for the liners, even though it said you can use the $5 on your next purchase of always, or not always, but next sanitary feminine care purchase. You can use it on anything, as you can see. I just used it on the Charmin and the laundry detergent deal. As long as your cashiers accept the registry award. If they take the registry award and read it and tell you no, then you won't be able to use it. But if they just scan the registry war, my cashiers just take the registry wars and scan them. My cashiers don't even look at the registry rewards to see what they are. Only thing they are concerned about is if it the cash, cash register accepts them. That's the only thing they um, care about. They just scan them and then put them in the drawer. They don't even pay attention to what's written on the registry reward but if yours does then you just absolutely will not be able to use them you might have to go to another store or wait until the, another cashier comes on that will not pay attention to what's on there and just um scan them so it's at the cashier's discretion of whether she will she or he will take the registry reward but it does work for anything and that's it for today Hopefully you guys will find some Charmin um, toilet paper to do your deal. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.